Now, folks, I have said it a thousand times before. I am straight. No, I uh, have said it a thousand times before. Really, I've said it a thousand times before. We really do have an amazing staff here at Late Now. We have a great staff here on the show. It's not just me out here. It's, uh, it's a lot of people working behind the scenes to make this thing the uh, mediocre show that it is. And, uh, and I have to say, it takes over 100 people to, to get the show on the air every night. And I, I couldn't sit here every night without them. Um, but actually, and I thought I'd mention this, certain jobs on this show have a lot of turnover. We just constantly have to replace the people. And, um, well, the economy isn't that great these days, so I thought I should mention that some of the jobs here, some of these very specific jobs on our show, might appeal to some of our viewers, and you should let us know, because, you know, we might have some openings in these areas. So, uh, right now, I'm going to describe some of the jobs here at Late Night that are currently available. If you think you might be right for the job, send in your resume. Does that sound good to you? Okay, great. All right. Oh, great. All right, well, let's get started with a little segment we call Late Night Job Openings. All right. Now, uh, here's the first job opening. In order for the show to succeed, it's very important that people perceive me as a very cool guy. It's just important that I perceive, be perceived as a very cool guy. So what I do is I employ a posse that I that I walk around with, and these guys make me look cool wherever I go. And maybe uh, you could be one of them, because there's a lot of turnover on this, on this posse. Take a look. <laughs> now, a lot of Hollywood stars do their own stunts. Well, folks, not me, okay? <laughs> Sorry, baby. I use, a, uh, I use a stunt double all the time on the show because there's a lot of stuff that, I'll just admit it, I'm too scared to attempt myself. Here's an example. My first guest tonight has done dozens of films, including an Academy Award-winning performance in Mighty Aphrodite. She's now starring in the new movie, Triumph of Love, which opens tomorrow. Please welcome the lovely and talented Mira Sorvino. <laughs> We, uh, we have several segment producers uh, at the show who, who talk to upcoming guests and they help them prepare for their interviews. The position that's open right now, it's very specific. It's for the segment producer whose sole function is to alienate John Leguizamo by constantly call him Legzam. <laughs> Take a look. Uh, this job might be for you. Hey, Legzam. Thanks for coming on the show. Leguizamo, Leguizamo, how you doing, man? What's We're going to Leguizamo it up. You're going to do that dance thing No, no, I'm going to Leguizamo it up. Leguizamo, you got to get it right. You're going to introduce me. It's going to be embarrassing if you don't see my name. Leguizamo. No, Leguizamo, Leguizamo. You... Listen to my lips. Watch. Leguizamo. It's really easy. Leguizamo. You're not that close. Man. <clears throat> no, no offense. Leguizamo. Leguizamo. No, Leguizamo. Leguizamo. Uh, uh, where's Conan? Can I talk to Conan for a minute? Listen. Leguizamo. It's Leguizamo, man. Leguizamo? Yeah, there you go. That's good. Leguizamo! That's a good job. I want that job. Now, folks, believe it or not, this is a, this is a true story. When, when Max Weinberg started here, he had a clause put in his contract that forbids me from ever yelling at him on the show. I can't yell at Max. So, Here's what we do. We have to employ a stand-in to take all the verbal abuse meant for Max. <laughs> and if you want this job, here's exactly what you'd be doing. Well, folks, we have some great guests on the show tonight from the new movie, Sorority Boys. <laughs> Max, that wasn't a joke. I didn't need a rim shot. Who cares? <laughs> Excuse me. Max, you're the worst drummer I've ever worked with. When I want a rim shot, I'll ask for a rim shot. Are you an idiot? Are you retarded? What's your problem? I can't even work with you anymore. You're so stupid. Yeah, I'm Max Weinberg. I'm Max Weinberg. <laughs> oh. 
I can't believe your father took that job. It's just amazing. <laughs> Works like a charm. Yeah. <laughs> Folks, this next job opening, this next job opening is a sad one for me. For nine years, we've relied on Abe Vigoda to deliver a surefire laugh in countless comedy pieces. Unfortunately, our Abe Vigoda has gotten a little worn down. That's right, folks. His liver has completely blown out. His knees don't work anymore. He loses a pound of skin a day. And he's just become too expensive to maintain. So unfortunately, this morning, we had to put him to sleep. True story. I was there. I held him in my arms. It was, it was rough. Folks, the good news is, though, we're looking for a brand new Abe Vigoda. I'll do it. As many, uh, as many of you know, our announcer, Joel, has his share of problems. For some reason, he is physically unable to ever leave his announcing booth. Therefore, we have two crew members who must push him around wherever he needs to go. It can be a really tough job, and our last two guys never really got the hang of it. Take a look. looking for a new announcer. All right, our, uh, our last job opening is probably the most difficult here at the show. To land this position, you'll need both a brilliant mind and years of technical training. To be honest, it's a grueling, thankless job, and most people don't last through the week. The position? To be the masturbating bear's psychoanalyst. Take a look. Okay, well, I'm afraid we're out of time. Uh, let's pick this up again next week, hmm? <laughs> All right, everybody, on that note, we're gonna take a little break. When we come back, Ethan Hawke is here, Dave Chappelle is here. Fine show.